Hard Zal having a look. Look at Skulls with those jewelies. Gonna be awkward for Nav. Hard Zal still here. Nav's gonna win that duel actually as they push with good timing. Team Liquid moving into the A bomb site. Time will be of the essence. Donut's gonna be a problem. As there is a two man setup which might be swiftly dealt with by Bukazira. But there are two more for him to find. Oh my days! Oh. All right then, he's got a 1v1 and a liege! Imagine if that didn't go their way. That so, they have some options afforded to them by those mid players, but Hardzal is looking to create plenty of sound use OC. Keep a good eye on things! Oh, that's a disaster. Naf can't trade that frag, he's carrying the bomb. He's got to press onto that A-bomb site. But Yakindo of the MAC-10 might be well positioned to deal with that, but this is a scary situation for them. Naf's low. He had to win that duel, he did, but look at Zevi's oh. spread. This is an absolute catastrophe, again for Team Liquid. Holding that single digit over Nitro and OC at present. So, again, a great round from them. But they need to follow up and put Pain Gaming on Eco. Alige once more around these smokes in mid, giving them something after Nitro gets dropped. Oh, Alige tried to clear the corner, but didn't realize that Skulls had fully repositioned. And Big Uzera activates at just the right time. Backstab delivered. Yakinda finally trades, but he drops down to his death. Skulls is ready for him. But um, these three players surviving for pain, like from their perspective, force forward, but there's no one there to challenge him. Ooh, now Zebi's switch. made his way over as well. Nitro doesn't win the first duel. There'll be a trade, but it's a bait setup, and Big Uzera comes out to drop that bomb. 14 seconds to plant the bomb, but first they've got to clear the site. This is not going to work out for Team Liquid. There are too many men on the road. Them something about the potential setup. They'll be heading towards the AWP of Zevi as Yakindar is dealt with. Surely that raises the urgency. That was a push through B. The whole chick is up now. They've got to strike now. Zevi nice will drop now, falling back now in the four versus three. They're still stuck in the choke point. They're still stuck in the choke point. There's 20 seconds left. They have to press on. They've given the CTs time to rotate over. There are three players here now as Nitro gets dropped. Zero for 10. Ali still fighting with 10 frags. And Molly may dispatch him. Indeed it will. And OC will finally get a kill to be instantly traded. They'll make their way in relatively unchallenged. There is a gap in that smoke, but the Molly will certainly help. Neck is looking for some angles. Five on five as the bomb is planted. Hard has got to be careful because they're pushing that smoke behind him. Elise and Yakinda fighting for another round. Zevi is here for a flick and Yakinda will get dropped. There goes Elise and OC as well. They drop so fast, Team Liquid versus Pain. 1v3, Nath doesn't have the angles, trying to bait the shot. He will be denied. Hardstyle's got a very strong angle. If there isn't a flash, there is one though. Looking for the transfer. Damage will be done. Ooh. I don't know how many players have he just hit, but they are in the red. Nath and Elise are in all kinds of trouble as they try to hold on and save another round. Down goes Elise. Nathline might not be too far behind. Most of the utils gone now for pain, but they are taking the angles away. Naf of a creative flash, and Skulls is going to eat all of that, but he's still standing, still alive. As Yakindar comes around from the back, bigger zero, going to get dropped. Yakindar's lost his angle, though. Nekis has a kit, which means this round is disappearing right in front of his eyes. Yakindar will wonder oh. what could have been as pain make it to 10 rounds. Just jumping and drawing the attention. So far, so good, though. Just keep it as simple as it needs to be. Bombs planted super fast. There's one smoke and one molly, both in the hands of Yakinda as they try to hold on to this one. Pain Gaming just waiting things out at the moment. Big Azira looking for someone to give him an opportunity. Hard Zao and Sevi moving forward. This clock is ticking somewhat. Sevi unable to find anything. I was going to say, they might consider saving at some point in this round. Because you look at the money on Hard Zao and Big Zero, they don't have a whole lot. It won't take too many rounds for them to get broken. Well, there's only two rounds left Pushing really. Over, but it's the mid play they've got to be concerned about right now. Nitro, oh, there God. he is. Taking Liquid to a potential fourth round. And this, if they can get this round, it could be worth two. Into the bomb site he goes. Zevi and Nekiz remain trying to do what they can. Zevi, look at Yakindar, already spreading towards the B-bomb site. He knows the situation. Got a supreme off angle as well if he heads this way once again. 
There it is. Yeah, that time though. And that means Skulls pushes all the way through and just takes the fight to Elysian instead. Thankfully, Naf is able to deal with that aggression over towards A. And so Liquid stay on top of the scenario. Gun wasn't recovered by Skulls either. Now Liquid coming back to B. Smokes are up. Hard for Pain to fight through these. Not much seen from that boost. Maybe he can go higher. A north frag from OC. Haven't seen many of those in this game thus far. And now Nekas is alone. One versus four with no kits. So it seems Liquid will make it to five rounds after all. 10 for Pain at half time. Well, into the meat grinder he goes. Fingers first then for Nekis. Five rounds for Liquid at half time. What kind of shape? USPs and a P2000 for the remainder. Figure Zero has been made the raid boss with the P250 for the Pain Gaming side who made plenty of footsteps towards B. Well, they go straight in. Wow, this is like a matchmaking strat. We've got Skulls drawing the crosshairs away and delivering that first frag. How do you even calm this? Oh. Your kid, was that two with one shot? He finds three and just like that blink of an eye. They will be below the bread line. If this doesn't work out for them, Naf in Ooh. trouble. But Yakinda has managed to bring back two with an MP9. That bomb's on the floor on the bomb site, and everybody is here for Liquid. There is time for Pain Gaming, but what they don't have is angles, as you or do they? All right, Zevi comes through, and suddenly the B bomb site is way more compromised. They have some flashes. There are no smokes to really take away these angles. Elise is curious. All too curious on this occasion. Pain have the time. They can chill for a while. They can cut noise and simply wait. Team Liquid have a decision to make. Do they stay together and hold B? You can see there are growing concerns about the rest of the map. OC will be traded. Nitro's in the clutch. They don't know where he is, but there's still time for Pain. Oh, they're lining up for him almost. Goals behind the bomb blood position. And there will be trade frag oh, players. People? for pain on long eight and skulls has the luxury of mid to himself now surely this will draw the focus of both these cts in donut and that is a great start for them oc and elige have put liquid in a very good position if pain continued they're basically walking into a horrible situation you see Ooh. skulls creeping there but elige has got the awareness three kills for him with the ak-47 we said they were very capable and he has shown us on this occasion. Yakindar with a little jiggle. That will draw the focus of everybody else. They just needs to do damage at the very least. As this puts them on eco. OC on the AWP now on the CT side also. I would expect him to be somewhat dependable here. Skulls gets his bell rung. Instant switch to Nekis. Taking that info and space back. Nitro backing up. Nice trade, Neck is. This AK is getting activated, and that A site is wide open right now. The bomb might fake its way over to A, though, and Team Liquid are leaving that B site. And look at the reroute here from Payne coming into top mid. Oh, this is a wild oh, one. OC, OC. Oh, he could go down for free here. They've heard him, but they can't see him just yet. Oh, the oh. cover! Because Zero had to deal that one, but Nekis will trade. They're coming, eh? There's only one left. Elige in the donut position. There's not going to be time to rotate. Nekis has to deliver this. You can see Yakinda is very forward. Got to be real careful about his timing, but he has OC for cover. Whoa, Yakinda caught in the back before OC is able to pull the trigger. Do they stick around on mid here, Team Liquid, or do they just give it up now? While Naf sneaking into position, he may have been hurt by Nek, is that? Nek is going to hard clear that corner. Easy headshot delivered. This B site could have been vulnerable for a second there. The rest of Payne not in position, but OC. But that doesn't guarantee that no one is by that A long position. There's bigger zero. 
Nitro gets decapitated, and OC's not far behind. 14 rounds for Pain Game. Jewel Smokes go into the B bomb site once again, and Nekiz is here. OC has been dropped. They are fighting, though. There is a boost. Yakindar's doing what he can. He finds two. Drops the bomb. Buy some time. Goals in CT spawn could catch these players off guard. Nitro still in a donut as the bomb's planted on B. Yakindar looking for that flank. Where is Goals? There is Goals. That leaves Nath in a dire situation. Nitro in mid looking for that flank. That really kills time for them. They don't have defuse kits, these remaining players. Skulls, look at this position from him in CT. He's looking for Nitro's rotation, and he may see the barrel of the gun. Oh, somehow Nitro gets it. They have to be fast. This is very urgent for them. They still have no kits. There might be one on the site, but that bomb is ticking. Hards out on the site. Should get one for free. Down goes Nitro. Naf one versus two with the FAMAS. Maybe claimed as well as Big Zero comes in for the peak. Match point pain. It's not the round you practice for if you're liquid, but... It's a round you need right now. Oh, what? Oh, my days. There's no you, way. You There's kid no way. again with the MP9. Refuses to lose. This, the impact of this is not to be underestimated. Pain will be broke as pocus if they lose this round, especially without a bomb plant. They look likely to. Oh, Zevi's in trouble as well. Didn't take too much damage, though. There's more work to do, and he's doing it. Hards out. Going for a fast plant. No one close enough to do anything about it. He has one third of the information. Oh, and he will get absolutely wrecked by Nav. What has your Kindar well, just done? Sub one minute mark, and we still have ten players. Liquid. Hyper aggressive towards B, made a play, got nothing from it. They have to read that was somewhat expected. Now that is such a big frag. Bigger zero dropping your kinder. Team Liquid really don't have much information at the moment. From B to A, they lose key players on both sides, and the A is where the pain gaming oh. squad will collapse. And Liege decapitated. Naf and OC versus five. 25 seconds on the clock. That bomb needs to get planted. Look at the double peak with elevation from Pain and the smoke as well for OC. I don't know how many shots he's got left, but I think he's got a reload here. The HUD keeps showing five. Diffuse kits for both. But they're barely, they haven't even breached the site yet. OC showing presence. There's a the double peak. And now it's Nav to keep Liquid alive versus Pain. That bomb is ticking so far, a triple peak, and Payne do it in two. 16 to 12 over Team Liquid, dominated on Mirage, and stormed the first half on their pick of Ancient as well.